The main focus of the Glen Cree Centre from its start was sort of trying to stop the violence and build peace and reconciliation in relation to the Troubles and that's still a key part of our work. So we do a lot of work around what we call sort of legacy issues or the transition from a violent conflict to trying to create a peaceful society in which everyone has a place and feels they belong and are welcome. But we've also branched out into other areas. So. 10, 15 years ago, we started to be approached by those who are suffering from violent conflict overseas and said, surely after 30 years experience in your own violent conflict, you might have some lessons or experiences that you could share with us. So we, do some, we have an international program premised on sharing lessons from our own peace process. And more recently, a much greater focus on trying to create a diverse, inclusive, welcoming society in Ireland thinking of refugee and migrant populations who have come here, even tra the travellers and the difficulties between tra traveller and settled, um, and that we feel there's more to be done and that Glen Creek can offer value in trying to help create a welcoming society for all, where diversity is cherished and not sort of something to be scared of. And finally, we have a beautiful centre with a lovely place, which is a great place to come and have difficult conversations and we use it, but we'd like to attract others who are trying to have difficult conversations to say, here's a place that might help you to do what you're trying to do. So I think the importance of places like Glen Cree, um, well, two or three things really. One, if you look at the situation on this island in relation to the peace process, the political stalemate, the challenges that Brexit pose, um, the sort of persistent divisions within Northern Irish society and between North and South, we still need a place where people can come together and talk about difficult and contentious issues quietly and to build trust and relationships to try and resolve those and find a way forward. But you just a quick look at the world news, refugee flows, the horrors of violent conflict, the polarization of political debates. We really need places where you can come and have proper meaningful conversations and build trust and relationships because sort of jabbing each other in the eye in the public domain isn't going to help resolve the many challenges we face in the world. So I think on this island, Glencree is it, and I think we're really crucial and vital, but we need places like Glencree across the world to have those difficult conversations and provide a safe space for those.